Hey, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to send conversions back to Facebook conversion API. So the first step to make this happen is going to business Facebook and then going to our events manager. Once we are in events manager, we need to click on connect data sources. Okay. Once we are in connect data sources, we are going to click on CRM. So it's going to give us the option to either choose a pixel or create new pixel. In this case, I'm going to create my pixel. Now in the pixel, I'm going to go to settings. And then in settings, I'm going to go to choose your CRM. Then here, how you like to connect your CRM, we're going to find lead connector lead connector and then we're going to choose use a third party partner to connect in fewer steps in this case lead connector then we're going to go to partner okay so then it's going to give us the option to go into our crm as we can see right now the setup is complete 20 percent complete so now we need to send a crm event and i'm going to show you now how we do that so in our CRM, we need to make sure that in integrations, when we go to settings, our right ad account and our right Facebook page are in the Facebook integration. And then we need to make sure that the right Facebook forms fields are mapped properly. In this case, they are. So once we have that done, we are going to go to workflows and then we're going to create two workflows. So the first workflow is going to have as a trigger Facebook lead form submitted. So if we only have one form, we don't need to specify anything. But if we want to specify a certain filter, we can put the actual form that we want to use. Then the second step is going to be create or update opportunity. So we're going to select the pipeline. We're going to select our pipeline stage where we want this to be. In opportunity name, we're going to put contact name, opportunity source, contact source. Now for this particular scenario, we're going to leave the allow opportunity, sorry, the allow duplicate opportunities. And then we're also going to allow re-entry. And finally, we're going to put new Facebook lead to pipeline. So that's our first workflow. Then we're going to create our second workflow, which is going to be the actual pipeline stage change. So we're going to go here to a workflow. In trigger the trigger is going to be pipeline stage changed in this case we need to filter the pipeline that we chose previously in the previous workflow and then the stage that we chose previously in the previous workflow then we're gonna add as a step Facebook conversion API and we're gonna add lead event okay so roadblock is gonna ask asking us for access token pixel ID stage name so easy we go back to settings and then here in the settings we're going to set up an access token so i'm going to generate an access token i'm going to copy and paste this access token i'm going to paste it here now i'm going to find my pixel id okay so here's my pixel id i'm going to copy and paste my pixel id and then finally here in the stage name, I'm going to pull this from custom values, opportunity, stage name. Okay, there we go. We're going to publish this, but before we're going to allow re-entry. Then we're going to publish it. Five line stage change. And then we need to test this. So how do we test this? We're going to go to the lead ads testing tool you can get here from developers facebook.com tools lead ad testing so i'm going to do a test of the form that i chose before okay so we can see that facebook has sent already three uh, updated leads that are tests dummy data so they are already being in the new 
lead pipeline. So if we see in the first workflow, new Facebook lead to pipeline, they have both been added to the workflow history. And then if we check the other workflow, new Facebook lead to pipeline, we can see that the opportunity is here as well. So this is gonna take up to a day to have a successful events, but we don't have to do anything else. We are good to go.